Now, the use of antidepressants in general has become quite widespread. Effexor plus a more commonly prescribed class of antidepressants called selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors are being used by many pregnant women. Lisa Johnson now on what they should know about the risks of these drugs. Christiane Schultz had a difficult decision. Stay on medication not recommended for pregnant women or stop taking it and risk other problems from depression. In B.C., a growing number of women who are pregnant are opting to stay on the drugs. 5% of all pregnancies involve a mother on antidepressants, possibly affecting 2,000 babies a year in this province. Well, I'm, in, I'm concerned in general that we've seen this increase in antidepressant use in pregnancy. That prompted the therapeutics initiative to review the safety record of common antidepressants. The independent group based at UBC gives advice on drugs by evaluating often contradictory studies. Now the evidence is limited. Scientists can't just run possibly harmful experiments on pregnant women, but the researchers did find enough in animal studies and observations to conclude the risk of the drugs outweighs any benefit. The assumption is that if you actually treat those untreated women with antidepressants that their baby's health would be better and that we don't have any evidence that that's the case. Compare that to the risks. The therapeutics initiative describes evidence linking antidepressants to miscarriages, birth defects like heart malformation and a lung disorder that can be fatal, as well as other types of poor health outcomes for the baby including tremors, restlessness and sleep disturbance. All those problems have prompted two warnings from Health Canada, but women are told to consult their doctors before stopping. Schultz's doctor advised her to stay on the drug she was using. To me it seems crazy that pregnant women are getting the message not to have a single drink in pregnancy, but that they should be taking maybe even high doses of antidepressants. We tried to interview three doctors who prescribe antidepressants to pregnant women, but none of them wanted to talk. One did point us to the clinical guidelines doctors are given in BC, those guidelines give the unsatisfying answer, more study is needed. Lisa Johnson, CBC News, Vancouver.